Kia ora tātou, ngā mihi ki a koutou ki te huhu mai nei, ki te whakarongo, ki te kōrerorero, i ngā taki e pāna ki tēnei kaupapa. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm talking about this, which is a uh, fairly massive mouthful of a topic, and this is actually one of the, the harder presentations I've ever had to, to think about doing. So this is my fifth rewrite. It may go horribly, it may go okay, we'll see. Um, so... I always find it interesting to find out who people are before I hear them talk. I like to know what kind of thing, and I think all the speakers have covered this quite well. So I'm, I'm Kaitahu, Kaiti Mamoi, uh, Waitaha. They sometimes call us Ninja Māori or Stealth Māori because we present as white, but lots of Norwegian blood um, <laughs> in there. But uh, I uh, got a BSc in Comp Sci and I did maths and Māori studies as well. And uh, I've worked on a library project called Koha since 1999. I work at Catalyst IT, um, and I'm currently one of the uh, release maintainers for the, the current stable branch of Koha. So this was my first thought when I got to, to um, this topic, and I thought, how, how the heck am I going to answer this? So I have no idea. So my first one was yes and no, and here's nine minutes of pictures of cats. Um, but I thought, that probably wouldn't fly. Um, I could probably get away with a minute of pictures of cats. So then I thought, OK, I've worked with libraries for about 20 years. Maybe I'll talk about libraries. And, and then I thought, oh, I'll go down the path of talking about DRM and publishers and copyright reform and, and all of that kind of nasty stuff. And I'd end up... And one of my... Uh, that was the path I was kind of heading on yesterday. And then I was chatting to one of my uh, awesome colleagues. And uh, she said something about often we have a knee-jerk, cynical reaction to things. And I was like, yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing with that path. I'm going to end up, I'm going to do 10 minutes and everyone's going to want to go home and burn down their public library because it's no longer going to work for them kind of thing. I was like, that's not what I want to do. So um, I had uh, a beer with another one of my colleagues and she said one of the presentations she enjoyed uh, most that I did was one where I did... Uh, the commonalities between Mariah-based consensus building and a, and a functioning and good free software project. So I thought, well, maybe I can flip some of that into this instead. So I called my dad and, and ran that past him, because he's awesome. And uh, he said, yeah, do that. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, Let's let's, te te let's look back a bit. Um, it was interesting, really good. It, it worked really well because the three the three of us who are talking about the Commons today have never met each other before and, and we hadn't seen each other's presentations. But the fact that the first one was about weaving works really well um, because in Māori society, uh, there was gender separation in, in weaving, not to the same extent, um, it, but it was mostly a, a female-dominated profession rather than a male-dominated one. So I thought, let's look back. There's two... Treaty partners, we've covered one of them, let's cover the other one. So that works in quite well. Um, so Māori had the idea of commons. Uh, you couldn't live in a, in a functioning community, tribal, iwi hapu society without having a good understanding of the commons. So I was going to look back at some of the whakatauki that, that Māori had. Um, and the first one, Nga Tororo, Nga Takororo, Ka Oro Aitiwi, was, was uh, your basket and my basket will feed the people, the people will grow. That kind of idea that working together. I hara taku toi toa taku tahi, i ngari he toa taku tini. The strength of me is not the strength of one, it's the strength of many. Um, you know, everything you accomplish isn't you, it's you and the people before you and the people with you. Um, he waka eke noa, uh, how to translate that? Um, a canoe everyone can be in. Inclusivity, I guess. Matini um, mamano karapa te fai. Many hands make light words. You know, with with um, yeah, the, the the few, the thousands, we get the work done. Um, so they had there were there were a lot of fakatogi around this kind of idea of working together, of sharing. Um, of course, there was knowledge that wasn't shared, but most of it um, was a shared resource. They the, the commons. They understood that a single hunter wouldn't feed an iwi, but hunters working together would, that kind of thing. So I'm going to look at some of the, the principles that make a functioning marae, and I think that those, some of those principles could make a functioning, open um, society too. So mana tangata. Uh, it's a really nice quote. Um, yeah, to be a person is not to stand alone, but to be one with one's people. 
And the deeper the oneness, the more we are truly persons and have mana tangata. So the, the idea, mana has kind of been one of those uh, culturally appropriated words into the English um, dialect, and it's, it's kind of lost some of its meaning. It, 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 it becomes, I don't know, people translate it as prestige and that kind of thing. It's not really that. It's, there were a lot of different mana, but mana tangata is that the respect you are accorded for the work you do for your people. And I think that that is a, a great goal for us. To, if we're looking forward to an open uh, society, open technology, that working for your people is, is the goal you should be having um, in your mind. Whakanuia, uh, rewarding work. Um, literally making big. So this is some peanut butter I got sent from the States when I pushed a patch that a librarian in the States asked me to push. Um, my wife is from Pittsburgh. She says that peanut butter in New Zealand is disgusting because um, I think we don't have 700 grams of sugar per peanut in it or something. Um, <laughs> but, but she really likes the, the GIF, which is um, more sugar than peanuts. <laughs> so, so someone found that out and sent me this. And, and that, that plus other things like getting some um, biscotti from Italy and stuff has kept me working on koha longer than any money would have, if you know what I mean. And it's those kind of ideas. Uh, the koha means reciprocal giving, um, and that kind of exemplifies that. And that's what a, a functioning open source project and a functioning society should be like. Um, Kayakupono, uh, mentorship, looking after teaching, um, growing. And it was really great listening to Jessica yesterday with that you can't just throw resources at people and expect them to learn. You should, you should be providing active mentoring. You should be helping people coming up. You should be um, searching for those who you could help bring into your space. Um, I like to, to think of myself as lazy and not in the traditional way of a programmer lazy, but lazy in that I'd rather train someone else so I don't have to do the work. So I'd much rather mentor people and get them working on it, and then I can just eat the peanut butter and stuff. Um, so that's kind of where, and that was, it goes back to that, uh, mana tangata goes back to that working together the, and the, the strength of one being nowhere near the strength of many kind of idea. Um, I feel like I'm going really fast, but I probably am. Um, so in the, the, the kind of kaihopono is, in a, in a traditional Māori, in a marae based anyway, or even, even in a whānau based situation, you would, that, that kaihopono starts at an early age and it comes through and it comes from many different sources and, and the idea of you, there's not it's not the school kind of in the same way as perhaps a Western idea that you send your kids off to learn somewhere else. The, the learning happens everywhere. Um, and so I think that that's kind of, everything's a learning opportunity and that's something that a, a good society would be able to do as well, is to take, it, take advantage of, of every opportunity. Um, kōrero, what we're doing today and yesterday and hopefully into the future, discussing. So kōrero means to talk, kōrero means to in Māori, it's quite cool. You can you can double up to make it um, a passive and, and uh, a longer thing. So to talk or to discuss, you double it up. So kōrero means discussion because it's it's two ways. Um, and that this is kind of leading into the next slide. This is how everything is kind of settled. Is that and this is this is probably one of the fundamental understandings and the reason that treaty settlements take so long and those kind of things is that you. Consultation in Māori actually means listening to people. Um, it doesn't mean just going to the marae and presenting your argument. That's not consultation. So central government and local government have a different idea of consultation to, to iwi. So the kōrero is, is a fundamental part of, of um, respecting people. That mana tangata again, that, the idea that people's opinions are valid and listen to them. You don't have to agree with them, but you, you have a duty to hear them. Um, so, and that leads on to the last one. Um, this slide, I'll, go, I'll explain the picture first. Um, the, at about seven o'clock last night, I, I, was, I was working on the slide and I, and I put out a, a tweet like, help, I need an image for Whakaro Whanui, which is um, consensus. Uh, 
thinking together, not thinking the same, but thinking together. Um, and no one really had one, so I uh, asked Kahu, my son, and he said, just put a picture of me hugging my brother. So that's, <laughs> that's, that's, ka, that's Kahurangi on the, um, the left and uh, Te Po Atero on the right. Um, and uh, yeah, I've been solo dadding for a while. Uh, my wife's been sick and they're, um, they've been really helpful actually checking. You wouldn't think an eight and a five year old could check sanity check presentations, but they do quite a good job. Um, if they can understand it, I figure everyone pretty much can. If you pitch it at eight-year-old level, you're probably doing fine. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so that's that one. So, Fakato Whanui, again, is that, like I said, it's consensus building, and you can't get to that point without that kōrero rule before. And can, consensus is different to um, unanimity. You know, everyone doesn't have to agree, but you can agree to work together. Um, and so that only comes after you've heard people. It only comes after that kōrero rule. You only get to that point if you have actually listened to other people's opinion, if you have actually given them the chance to say what they think. Um, that's pretty much it. That's, yeah, that was the fourth rewrite at five in the morning, so we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks.